So Shabbat Shalom. I'm going to try again. Shabbat Shalom. There we go. So nice to be here together. We're going to start on page 121 with a reading. We'll read first and then light candles second. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold him, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us as their brightness reminds us of the generation of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. We continue to welcome in Shabbat with Kiddush. If it's your custom to rise, please do. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei puri hagafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav v'ratzav anu, v'shabat kacho b'ahava uvratzon hin chilanu, zikaron l'mase v'reishit, ki hu yom t'chila l'mikra e'kodesh, z'echer l'tziat, Mitzrayim Kivanu v'cholarta V'yotanu kidashta Mikohol hamim V'shabat kodshecha V'yahava uvratzon Inchalta You can be seated. We will continue on page 142 with Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharin, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Hamlachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu, Boachem Lishalom, Malachi Hasharin. Josh Baruch 
We know that it's said that the angels walk by houses on Shabbat evening and that they look for the houses where the Shabbat table is set and the candles are glowing and that they say, so may it be next week. I hope that this evening when you're able to go home to your homes that they're filled with light and peace and joy. We continue on page 144 with the Chatzy Kaddish. Yit gada avit gada shimei raba V'yam adivrach yirute v'yam lich malchute V'chaye chon uv'yom echon Uv'chaye jichol v'ch Yisrael Ba'agala, ba'agala, uvizman kariv, v'yemaru, amen. Yeheshme rabba mevorach, le'ala malame omaya, yitpara, yitpara fishtaba, yitpar vitramam vietnase, Vita dar, vita le, vita la, shemed kudisha, brihu. Le elam in kol berchata vishirata, tush berchata vinechemata, dami iran viyama, vimaru, amen. We turn to page 146 and ask that you please rise in body or in spirit for the Barhu. <laughs> You can be seated. We continue responsively on the bottom of page 151. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Blessed are you, Adonai, your God, who loves your people Israel. We continue on page 152 with the Shema. Please rise. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Kivod Malchuto Leolam Vaed You can be 
be seated. Be a half ta e darona hecha. Behold of Abha, Uberhon of Sheha, Uberhom Eodeha, Behayu, Hadavarim Haele, Asher and Uchim, it's Abeha, Hayom Alibaha, Vishinantam Libanecha, Vidi Barta Baham. Beshiftecha bevetecha, uvlechtecha baderech, uvshachbecha uvkumecha, uksharetam leot oyadecha, vehayu letotafot beinecha, uchtav tam al mizuzot betecha, uvisharecha. Liman tiskeru vasi tem et komets vortai vi tem kiroshim lelohechem ani aronai lelohechem asher hotei echem me eretz mitzrayim liot lachem lehim ani. We turn to page 158 for Micha Mocha and how uh, interesting it is every year to come to Micha Mocha, the song about freedom um, at a time uh, when we celebrate uh, American freedom. I know that uh, some people are celebrating this year and some people are um, celebrating less so. Um, feeling that some freedoms have been curtailed, but I think that uh, no matter um, no matter how we feel, um, for the moment, it's given the long history of Judaism, um, it's somewhat miraculous uh, that we live in a country where we are free to walk into a synagogue on a busy street among glorious buildings um, and pray together without any question. So we'll continue on page 158. <laughs> No rati he loto se fella, no rati he loto se fella. Mahutifa rauvanecha, bokeh ayam lif ne moshev miriam. Ze elia nuvi amru, ze elia nuvi amru. Adonai. Amar kifada Adonai Yaakov ugaalo miyad chazak mimenu baruch ata Adonai gaal Yisrael blessed are you Adonai for redeeming Israel. We continue on page 162 with another song for Shabbat Vishamru. Vishamru vene Yisrael et ha-Shabbat Lasot et ha-Shabbat ledorotam berit olam Vishamru vene Yisrael et ha-Shabbat Lasot et ha-Shabbat Ledorotam berit olam Ben you ven bene Yisrael Oti le olam Oti le olam Vishamru bene Yisrael Et ha-Shabbat Lasot et ha-Shabbat 
Jaro Tamberito Lam Ki Shesha Yamim Asa Adonai Asa Adonai Et Hashamayim Viet Haaretz Vishamru Bene Israel Et Hashabat La so teta shaba le dorota berito lam. Uvayom hashvi shavat vaina fash, shavat vaina fash, shavat vaina fash. Vishamru bene Israel et shabat. Basot et ha shabat le dorotam beritolam. We continue now with our tefillah, which begins on page 164. We'll sing the first few pages together and then pause for our own silent prayer. Adonai sifatai tiftahu ufi agitehi lateha Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu velohevotinu vimoteinu Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Vekone Hakol. Vizacher chastea bat fimahot, umevi gula liv nevnehem, le maan shemo biahava, melech ozer umoshia umagen, baruchata adonai, magen avraham viz ratsara, atagi bor leolam adonai, Mikhaye hako atarab lahushia, Morid hatao, Mikhaw kilfim befesed, Mikhaye hako brahamim rabim, Somech no flim, Brofe holim, Umatir asuim, Umkaye munato, Lishene afar, Mikham ochab al give urot, Umido melech, melech me me to Machaye, Umat me a Yeshua, Vene emanata la Chayota co, Baruchata Adonai, Machaye ha co, Ataka dosh, Vishim ha kadosh, Ukto shim before Yom Yalu Hasela, Baruchata Adonai. We pray silently until page 178.
page 178. Shalom Leolam. Shalom We are going to continue on page 362 with Seder Kriyat HaTorah, the service for the reading of the Torah. I always like it when I don't have to ask. Those of you who've been here with me for the last number of weeks might notice that I've memorized which Hebrew letters the handles are under. <laughs> Page 362. <laughs> Page 366. 
Okay, pop quiz. This uh, Torah portion is named Korach. Raise hands if anyone remembers who Korach is. Oh, there we go. We got some people who remember who Korach is, right? So, um, as usual, the Torah portion is named for um, the first sort of unique word that comes up, right? The very first Torah portion is Bereshit. That's the first word. By this point in the Torah, um, there are a lot of non-unique words. Many Torah portions start with the, uh, with the words, Vayedaber Adonai um, El Moshe Lemor, and God spoke to Moses saying, that's not how this one starts. Um, this one starts, Vayikach, Vayikach Korach, and Korach took. So we are at um, Numbers chapter 16, verse 1, and there was a little bit of traffic, so I was not here early enough to roll the Torah, so we're going to see if I can roll the Torah right with you. And if I can't, then we'll have the Torah with us and read from the book. Oh, there we go. Ta-da. Okay, so let's find the appropriate... So we are um, in this book. 
on page 879. All right, let's say the blessings together. Barhu et Ananai Humbarach. Baruch Adonai Humbarach Leulam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Hamim Venatan Lanu et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. So the Torah, you may know, is really big on lineage. So the very first part I'm going to read um, talks about uh, Korach's lineage. Vaikach Korach ben Yitar ben Kohat ben Levi v'tatan v'aviram b'nei Eliav. So we're going to keep one word aside. So Korach. Korach, the son of um, Yitzhar, the son of Kohat, the son of Le Levi, that's important. Um, also, Datan and Aviram, um, who were the children of Eliav, um, Vaikach, they took um, uh, the um, On um, ben Pelet, Bnei Ruven, um, and another guy, um, On, who's the son of Pelet, who is from the tribe of Ruven, Vayakumu Lifnei Moshe, um, so they came before Mo Moses. Vanashim mibnei Yisrael, chamishim umatayim. There were uh, 250 um, nisi eda, uh, like princes of the princes of the tribe. Kori um, moed anshei shem vayekelu el Moshe, and they they banded together against Moshe. Va, Allah Haron and against uh, Aaron Vayomru um, Alehem. They said, and they said to him, Rav Lachem Kikol Haida, are you better than, are you better or greater than all of the uh, community? Kulam Kodashim, uh, we're all holy. Uvitocham uh, Adonai, and and we're all recognized by God. Umadua. Umadua titnasi al kahal Adonai. Why do you guys like lord over? Why do you guys lord over the community of of Adonai? Okay, we're gonna hear more about that in a moment. So the blessing after the Torah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet B'Chayi Olam Nata B'Tochenu. Baruch atah Adonai, noten While the Torah is still out in this holier of moments, we invoke God's name and ask for healing upon members of our community. Uh, the following names are on the Mishaberach list for uh, this week. Aviva Eliza. Laura Kina Aronson, Joan Bronsfeld, David Burchett, Fagasora Barchaya, Stephen Engelman, Esalen Garb, Phyllis Goldblatt, Don Grandolfo, Leah Jones, Carl Culbin, Jeffrey Krauss, Helena Krisik, Miriam Lyon, Gerald Marks, Eileen McNichols, Jimmy Miller, Sharon Montessori Garskoff, Irene Noperstack, Louis Pavillon, Gary Priest, Richie Reisman, Ellen Sager, Casey Siango, Christian Rao Skinner, Rob Stein, Tali Stein, Cameron Michael Taft, Avraham Ben Svia, Yosef Raphael Ben Yehudit. If there are any names of people upon whom you wish healing this evening, please share them. Anyone, anyone from home? Kai Arkin, Becky Hanscom, Leigh Hanscom. 
We certainly hold those names in our hearts and lift them up together in prayer as we sing together. Page 371. Mi shebeherach avotenu mekor habracha leimotenu me the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Number of years ago, as I was serving a congregation in Washington, D.C., um, Debbie Friedman came and uh, performed for us. And one of the things that she asked, because most people know her songs and want to sing along with her, was that when it came to Mishaberach, we stop and we let her sing to us first. And then we could all uh, sing along. She would sing it a second time. Um, and I think that it's an important lesson that. Um, as a, as a teacher, a uh, high school teacher said to me this year, you can't pour from an empty cup. And so, you know, Debbie Friedman wanted to bless us and fill us up before we were able to bless other people who needed healing. And so um, it's just a reminder that every so often it's okay to sit back and receive the blessings um, because you can't pour from, a, an, from an empty cup. Okay, um, we are going to continue with uh, returning the Torah to the Ark. Uh, I need a little bit of a hand because you notice that I have to stand on my tippy toes to get the Torah in and out, and it's harder when the cover isn't on. <laughs> so, uh, if you'll all please rise. Thank you. Page 374. Time. 
You can be seated. So, this week we have Korah and Datan and Abiram and a few other people, but Datan and Abiram are uh, held up as examples. So, Korah and Datan and Abiram, they stage a protest. Right? And, and this has been a week of protests of all sorts. Right? So Korach and Datan and Abiram, they stage this protest, and basically what they do is say, you know, in Judaism, like, you don't have to be, we, we don't need you. Right? We don't need you, Moses. We don't need you, Aaron. We can talk to God just the same as you. I don't know why you think you're better than us. So Moses says, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have a contest. Right? We're going to have a contest, and what we're going to do is you bring your fire pans and we'll bring ours, right? And we'll see which one God accepts. And so um, Korach and Zatan and Abiram, they bring what we call now in English strange fire, right? They wanted to do the sacrifices their own way. They didn't want to do it according to the way that Moses did. So they bring strange fire. Uh, it isn't accepted, and God wants to swallow them all up in the earth. Now, Moses is an interesting guy because more than once, Moses uh, pleads for people who have done him wrong, right? Which I think most of us wouldn't do, right? I mean, we don't need them swallowed up in the earth, but we also don't need them to hang around, right? And Moses is like, no, come on, God, don't, don't do anything. It'll be fine. Spare them. And God won't. And finally says to Moses and Aaron, you know what, move away, right? They're going to stay over there. You're going to come over here so that when I open up the ground and 30,000 people are uh, swallowed by the earth, you'll be okay. It's kind of interesting, right, because 30,000 people is a lot. Although it did say that, um, you know, 250 men uh, came, but... 250 men weren't killed, 330,000 were. Right, so uh, to me there are two lessons here. One is the lesson of, uh, one is the lesson of protest. And we protest all the time, right? There are things that we don't like, right? When I was a kid, uh, you know, 20 years after the Holocaust, our parents didn't buy all sorts of German products. Right? We're just not going to do it. You know, not going to ha have that kind of vacuum, not going to have that kind of aspirin, right? Protest. Right? When I was in college, right, when I was in high school, we protested against Pepsi. When I was in college, we protested against apartheid. Right? So what God says is, yeah, there's good protest and there's not good protest. Right? And the good protest is for the sake of humanity. And the not-so-good protest is what Korah and Datan and Abiram did, which was protest to say, to make their own selves bigger, right? And all the time we have this idea in Judaism about arguments or, or actions, what we say, l'shem shamayim, for the sake of heaven, right? So when we protest <laughs> things that we think are wrong or hurt people, that's L'shem Shemaim, and when we say, oh, no, 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 I'm right, I should have a bigger piece of the pie, God doesn't appreciate that. Now, hopefully, we won't be swallowed up in the earth, but, right? But here's another lesson, and it's one of my favorite lessons. Years and years ago, I had the opportunity to um, travel to uh, Germany and Hungary, and in Germany, they have... Um, a series of different kinds of memorials, right? They have a memorial that's just a memorial, right? There are um, what they call uh, Solperstein, Solperstein um, on the street. There are little plaques everywhere um, with names on them where people have died, right? And there are all sorts of plaques on buildings, and but they also have something... Um, that's called, in German, a monument and a memory, or a monument and a reminder. Right? So there's some monuments that are just like, yeah, 
we should remember what happened here. And there are some monuments that are, remember what happened here and don't do it again. Right? There's a, I was in Heidelberg, which if you've not been to Heidelberg, Heidelberg is like out of a movie. Like this glorious town with these cute little cottages and flowers all over the place. And for miles around, you can see a Soviet-era uh, monument that looks like a smokestack rising so high into the sky that you can see it for miles over this beautiful town, right? Picturesque and a reminder. So here's what happens with the fire pans. They take them and they hammer them and they leave them as basins at the entrance of the, uh, at the entrance of the tent of meeting, right? They don't throw them away. They don't get swallowed up in the earth. They get repurposed. And they get repurposed not just for anything. They get repurposed for holy work, right? Partly a memory, right? Partly a memory and a warning. Every time you see these, remember. But also the idea that repair is possible, right? That we can take something that was used for something terrible and repurpose it for good. And so, uh, so I like that lesson, right? That nothing is, um, that nothing is irredeemable. And certainly, you know, we live in a different era where we don't swallow people up in the earth <laughs> anymore. And where we hold hope that um, not just things, but people can stray and come back, and not just come back, but come back to holiness, come back to, to holy purpose. So there's Korah for you. All right. Huh. We are going to uh, begin to conclude our service on page 586 with Alenu, if you'll please rise. Alenu le shabbat kadon hakol, gulali otir breshit, shelo asanu kigoye haratzot, velo samanu kamish bechot hadama, shelo sam felkenu kahem, vigor alenu kifolamonam, vanachnu korim. Mishtafavim umodim, leaf name Elach, Mache Hamachim, Hakadosh Barofu. Page 591. can be seated. On page 595, you will find one of my very favorite uh, Hebrew poems. Uh, it was written by Chana Senesh. Um, and in Hebrew, it's called Yesh Kochavim, There Are Stars. There are stars up above, so far away, we only see their light long, long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. This evening, we're remembering the following. Anna Abraham, Shirley Archer, Adrian Ellen Eileen Bauman, Francis Benjamin, Sandra Hope Brash, Pearl C. Davis, Maurice J. Doppelt, Bertha Fishman, Louis Frank, Lillian Friedman, 
Samuel Froelich, Claire Glickson, Stanley Harrison, Julia Jacobson, Sadie Kramer, Nelson Ledsky, Harriet Bueller Moss, Roberta Madnick, Rose Mazur, Jack Metcalf, Elsa Milhouse, Isidore Oring, Julia Arnstein Pollock, Barney Ross, Jenny Rothschild, Ruth Rubin, David Rubinstein, Esperanza Sanchez, Mayor Selig, Brendan Sharkey, Gordon Joel Scheffner, Della M. Simmons, Rose Spira, Shelley H. Stein, William Wagner, Seymour Elliott Weil, Edna Weinstein, Helen Cohen Wernick, Joseph Zoller, and in recent days, Marcus Maris, Jeff Fuden, and Arnold Perlstein. Is there anyone else who you're remembering this evening? Anyone from our friends virtually? No. We take them into our hearts with our own as we rise for Kaddish. Page 598. Yit kadal vit kadash me raba bi alma divora fivute viamlich malchute bechay chon viome chon vchaye de chol beit Yisrael ba galav vizman kariv emru amen yehesh me raba mevorach lealam ome omaya yit barach vish tabach vit paar vit romam vit nase. Vita dar, vita le, vita lal, shme de kudisha, brihu, le elam in kol berchata, vishirata, tush berchata, venechamata, da ami ram, vi alma, vi ru, amen. Yehe shlama raba min shemaya, vechaim alenu, vi al kol, yestrael, vi ru, amen. O se shalom bimomav, hu ya se shalom. Alenu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel as together we say amen. You can be seated. You know what? Let's sing Oseh Shalom. I'm feeling the need for extra peace this evening. The bottom of page 598. O se shalom bim roma, who ya a se shalom ale, and who ve al koho Yisrael, ve imru imru amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom ale, and who ve al koho Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu ve'alko Yisrael. Yase shalom, yase shalom, shalom aleinu. Shabbat Shalom, may you have a week of peace.